thing, so I have this here patio heater that the top section bent. So I got another one. And the screws were so badly rusted in there that I had to grind them off. The way this style was put in was with riv nuts. You can see that it's a riveted, a threaded rivet that goes in here, it's pressed in, and the screw goes in there. I don't have any more that are this size, otherwise I probably would have just put them back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece and put it on here and get the whole thing reassembled. So the holes on this one didn't line up because it was from another one. So all I did was I first turned this upside down, I drilled out new holes, put it on here, made sure it was more or less even around the sides, marked out the holes and drilled them through. I have some stainless steel screws which I'm going to use to put this back on. Because my triangle was not perfect you'll have to rotate it until they all just fit in there. And there's a washer on the back side and there will be a washer on each side here just to hold it in. This is actually a different style from a different one. You can see I sanded this down nicely and hit it with high heat barbecue paint and you can see it uses these uh, shoulder bolts or offset bolts, double-ended studs. There's a multitude of names for them but basically it's a bolt of a shoulder on two ends and that just gives a bit of a standoff for the heat reflector. I would have used this one but it didn't fit. These bottom portions here always like to rust out. You can see that this one is actually done quite nice with a, with a hammer finish powder coat of paint. So I'm probably going to take this off, uh, clean it, and hit it with high heat barbecue paint. This here's the other one that I did and you can see that these parts here that like to rust, I hit them with the high heat barbecue paint and it uses that same type of uh, mounting stud. And so there it is, I'll finish that. Top portion is back in, I'm going to tighten down these screws. Came out pretty nice. And that's how you can repair the heat deflector on one of these propane barbecue heaters, or patio heaters.